Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and welcome to the uh, Kingdom Hearts White Trinity Tour. Also including item synthification collection and a few leveling ups. I think I mentioned that like none of the White Trinities had good items, and that's not really true. There is a pretty cool weapon, and well, there's two weapons that I found. But there are, unfortunately, also a lot of useless gummies. Alice in Wonderland. After this, I shall be truly done with this world. I found all the treasure chests in it. Lady Luck. This is the cool weapon. Lady Luck is pretty much an upgraded version of the Spellbinder, and I believe I've mentioned how much I love the Spellbinder. Because it still gives 2, exp or, uh, two MP, and it raises your magic ability. But it also actually does damage, so that's nice. And there's my second level up. So much easier to level up since I answered the questions the way I did at the beginning. Epic scene right there. And we get... Rudely Interrupted! Game, you're trying my patience. Help me out, Zeus. Alright, after ten years of battle... I'm rewarded with a useless frickin' gummy. Yay me. I'm gonna go over the corner and cry now. And this is a trinity that I missed. So, I really didn't mean to, but it seems like I'm actually going to show me getting every single trinity in the game. I think I said at the beginning I wasn't going to. But this was it. Uh, the rest... <laughs> the only ones left are white trinities. I actually found every other trinity in the game. Learned Critical Plus. Not friggin' bad. I was looking at my other file that's at level 60, where I chose the sword, and it's actually surprising how similar your stats are once you get to the end. The choosing at the beginning really just determines the order in which you get things. Although you actually, you are locked out of certain abilities depending on what you choose, but that only matters if you get really high level anyway. And here is the last white trinity on our tour. Will it be a good one? Meh. Fairy Godmother. Just need to get the last summon. And this is indeed the last summon. There are no more summons. I don't I didn't really use this summon too much, but I don't think I used summons all that much, period, last game. I've been trying to... I've been trying them out a little bit more. At the summon spell, Mushu. Thank you, Sora. Here's a little something for you. It's actually a little something for Donald. Take good care of them. Yes, if you find every summon in the game, you get a staff for Donald that uh, is a decent staff. So I have double the attack power, which doesn't mean much because it was an attack power of three before, and it reduces the magic by one. He has so much magic, I think I'm actually going to do it because look at the staff. It looks really cool. I mean, not that this staff doesn't look cool. It's got the whole black mage thing going on, but... Uh, I've been using it, like, the whole game. So I'm switching, damns it. And Goofy, when did you get an extra item slot? I do not even know. I will put the Brave Warrior on you for now. And you're good. I, uh, Lady Luck. Great thing. I've been skulking around, because the, the optional bosses are activated. I don't know if I've mentioned that in my post-commentary. As if I can't change it, now that I know that... Anyway, um... But yeah, I, uh... They're, they're a little bit rough, but, you know, I'm only... I'm level 50, right? Yeah, we're level 50. I mean, if I got to level 60, I think I could probably handle them. And if I had a... You know, if I had some of the better weapons. The main thing, though, is that they have a ton of HP. So you can be fighting them for 15 minutes, and then, bam, you just get caught off guard. And you die, and you have to start all over again. Well, that's how the game is played. So what can I build? I can get a Titan Chin. Yeah, I had, I got a whole bunch of synthification items. It's kind of awesome. Let's hold off on that, just in case it'll lock me out of something. Can't get any of those three. I already have a ribbon, so whatever. What's a heart guard? I do not know, but whatever it is, I have one. Three stars, I have it. Power up, I now has it. And... Ooh, I can make another Titan Chin, but no. So that's all that. 
Titan Chain seems like that's something I would like. Titan Chain. That is something that I like. It keeps my defense the same, for God's sakes. That is a straight upgrade of what I'm using right now. And this is AP Strength and Defense. I probably need that extra AP, sadly. Even the Ravenclaw would be... Oh, what's the Heart Guard? If it reduces... Oh, okay. It stops you from becoming a Heartless. Three stars. Alright, that's a decent item. You've got, uh... Oh, I can't... There's gotta be something better than that. You gotta be kidding me. I tend to like the straight stat moves. Yeah, <laughs> the thing I was wearing. Excellent. If I just talk to Merlin, he can bring me to the cavern without me having to walk there. Go to cavern. I will show the summon spell Mushu in an actual battle. I'm not gonna do the practice or anything. Mystical cavern, go! And I think there's a white... Yes, white trinity. Come on, something good. No gummy, no gummy, no gummy, no gummy, no gummy, no gummy. Okay. I can accept that. Even though I probably have enough of those at this point. Hey, Kairi, what you doing here? What a mysterious mural. It's almost hypnotizing. There's something about this musty place. There's still some magic in that old silk hat I found. <laughs> Face first into the wall. Good going, Sora. Nav gummy. You know what would have been cool, Sid, if you had given this to me as soon as you found out I was the Keyblade Master so I could have saved the world faster? Let's go back and join the others. We should rest up. Okay. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? That's right. We were together. You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kyrie. Now, it's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his... When I turned into a Heartless, you saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. My friends, who I was, the darkness almost swallowed me. But then, I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I couldn't. That's it! Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. Well, let's go! You can't go. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. You can't go alone. Kyrie, even if we're apart, we're not alone anymore. Right? I can't help? You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> okay. You win. Take this. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't worry. I will. Promise? Promise. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. Got Oathkeeper. I'm going to use her lucky charm as a keychain. Now, how good is this thing? It is a decent keyblade. I think I'll use it for a little while. 
Though there's certain battles where I'll probably be using Lady Luck instead, just because it gives the extra MP. It's my lucky charm. Be sure to bring it back to me. Don't ever forget. Wherever you go, I'm always with you. So now I can go back to Hollow Bastion if I am so inclined. Which I believe I am, because I'm not quite ready to go after the optional bosses on screen yet. It's going to take a lot more practice, a lot more crying, and a lot more tears. And misery. But the important thing, the important thing, is that now I get to show off my gummy ship. Well, I probably have to talk to Sid first, don't I? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go back to Sid first. Thing is, I might have overdone the wings a little bit. I don't know. The wings are a little bit overbearing. But I think I I'm pretty proud of the gummy ship. I was working on it for, like, at least an hour and a half, maybe, just screwing around with all the different options, trying to fit as many guns on as possible. I actually hit the max amount of guns available. You found it? All right, I'll fix your ship up. Oh, my throat is sore. I shouldn't be doing Sid voice. All set. You can get going anytime. Kid, I gotta say, I wish you didn't have to face all this danger. Whew, excellent. Um, I spent so much money here. I, I should just show it in action, shouldn't I? Yeah. I'll see you outside. Alright, there's a new warp near Traverstown. I'm going to need to go into that warp, I guess. I don't get why the dialogue here is so cumbersome. Like, you have to hit the forward button many times to make it go. Yo! And they do mention, you'll notice, like, the star level that shows how hard Heartless are is much higher in every single world. Every world has got a Heartless enemy upgrade. So this is going to be a kind of a long trip, it looks like, because I need to get all the way to there from here. Although, who knows how the warp works, we'll say. Let's go. And yay, look at my ship! I don't know if the wings are overdone or not, though, maybe. <laughs> that was kind of a last-minute thing. Um, as far as the guns, like, you notice it still has, like, the gun shooting out to the side like that. I think... If you have, like, more than two guns pointed forward, the other ones automatically shoot to the side. You'll notice that I have a radar beacon, so that I can, uh, see the enemy ships. Totally pointless, but I have it. Um, most of my firepower, though... Oh, you'll also notice <laughs> that there's, like, these two rockets shooting out. Uh, I don't know what gun that is, but if they ever hit anything, it's really powerful. It's just they never hit anything. Uh, or maybe they do, and I can't tell, because there's just too much chaos. I have the upgraded haste boost, so now I can boost really fast. And just pound right through everything. And, um, I also have the transform gummy. Oh no, the transform gummy's not working for some reason. Oh well, no big deal anyway. <laughs> it was just gonna transform into some other stupid shit. But the transform gummy's not quite as cool as I thought. I don't, I don't know what I thought it would be. Somehow I thought it would be cooler than it is. But it, it basically lets you switch ships in the middle of battle. I don't know why is you would want to, really, but you can do it. Full speed ahead. But they really should have provided a black uh, pallet earlier on, I think. Look at all, look at those lasers. And two of those are Ultima guns, by the way. By the way, <laughs> it's crazy. Like I don't even need to use my regular um my regular shots. I can just keep on shooting missiles. Because they lock on to things and they just do crazy amounts of damage. Forward. Also, I didn't know this, but the way you get other blueprints, the primary way, is by blowing up other ships that have those blueprints. Like, that's how I found the little... Like, those ships are probably special ships. I could get their blueprint. Alright, that wasn't so bad. There's only one more gummy shit sequence in the game. But hopefully even the people that voted against it, you know, it's not too bad, because my ship is so fly, right? It's so cool. I don't know, it, it, it's fun to make the ships. I was gonna make an entire ship from scratch that I could transform into, but transforming's lame, so... Where's Bell? Still in the castle. 
Against her will? No. I think she stayed for a reason. The other princesses are inside as well. I wonder why. Let's go ask them. You may need my strength. I'll go with you. Going from Sid voice to Beast voice. That's even worse. Beast, um... There we go. Oh, I love that. Uh, the way they're organized with the... the never mind. <laughs> Why do I see graphic design space relations in everything that I do? I can't help it. You know what? I'm, and if I'm in a car and stuff, I'm looking at the trucks. I'm looking at the ads. You know, the locales on the trucks. I'm constantly evaluating all ads and stuff from a graphic design standpoint, and I, like... I can't turn it off. <laughs> it's probably a good thing, but... I don't know. <laughs> I can't turn it off anymore. Dispel gummy, you gotta be kidding me. Woo. If I knew that's what that was, I would have ignored it. Yeah. This is a pretty cool area right here, by the way. Just the mysteriously floating uh, ice blocks, I guess? They're probably ice blocks. Because there's water everywhere. Yeah. This is a pretty badass Keyblade. Kinda looks like the ultimate weapon in the second game. And I think the ultimate weapon in the second game might be called Oath Keeper, so that's probably why. But it's just... it. I, I do not like the way that the ultimate weapon in 2 looks. It looks like... like it's like they went a little bit too far. Kind of like how the wings on my gummy ship might have gone a little bit too far. Uh, they could have just been normal wings, but no. I had to make them gigantic golden wings. This is just like... I don't know, it's just a mess. Anyone? Ah, uh, yes. What, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> it's like the second weakest enemy in the game. Get the hell out of here. I'm almost offended they would be sent after me at this point. Wow! You know what? If you guys aren't going to be serious about giving me opposition, I'm not even going to fight you. Bye. I'm offended, to be honest. I'm honestly, sincerely offended. You should be sending frost golems out. Oh god, do not send frost golems. Why, whatever do I mean? Oh, you'll say. Hey, give me a frost gem. No? Hey, guy. Give me a frost gem. No? Okay. Frost shard. Whatever. Whoosh. Let's ignore these guys. For some reason, the Heartless here are really weak, despite the fact that the source of the Heartless, the, like, the strengthened Heartless is coming from here. You'd think they'd be even stronger, but... What do I know? Oh, you jet. Fetch your jet. Yep. Wow. Now I can kill those guys without even uh, doing the badge combo. My strength hath increased. I'm gonna have to walk all the way up there. Oh, no, no, no. I hate you guys. Strike. Oh, I got him in two heads. I, I, like, I... I do not want to fall off the edge. That's all. I'm not scared of you guys. I just do not want to fall off the damn edge. Now that's interesting. Huh. They're magic resistant now. So these aren't the same guys that I fought before. I mean, they're still really weak against physical attacks, but... Um, if they were the same guys I fought before, they would have just been wrecked when I used that magic on them. Yeah. They can actually survive a hit. Ugh. I hate this crap. Bunch of flying enemies on a ledge that you can fall off. And they're flying away from me? Come on. Come on. I gotta be so careful. I can't. Unle Actually, yeah, I'll let them take care of it. It doesn't matter if they fall off. They'll just teleport back up to me. So next time I'm in this situation, I'll just uh, hit the hey, you guys, why don't you do stuff button a bunch of times and let them do it. Especially if I have Beast, who can crack mountains over his knee. Presumably. Bring me the. This is gonna be a long ride, I think. Okay, I just cut to the part where the Heartless attacked, and I knew it was coming. Let's cut out the 15 seconds or so of the 
platform moving and not doing anything. See, here I can fight you guys to my heart's content. Don't need to hold back. Continue. Finally. Several hundred years later. I have to go through this entire thing again, don't I? Okay. And it's the princesses' eyes. The princesses. It's weird, I think everyone... Yeah, everyone except for maybe Kyrie. Um, but definitely Alice is an actual princess. Uh, they were either born a princess or they become a princess at the end of their respective story. We've been waiting for you, Keyblade Master. Where's Ansem? Gone. The keyhole appeared. Darkness poured out of it. It swallowed Ansem and he disappeared. Though Ansem is gone, the flood of darkness hasn't stopped. We're working to hold it back. I cannot forget the look on his face. As the darkness engulfed him, he was smiling. So this is Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty. I generally forget which is which. Yeah, they, they look very similar, don't they? Ansem has ignored us since the keyhole appeared. I don't think Ansem will ever return. Well, he just said the same thing to me. Let's talk to the other group of princesses' size. And this girl. Sora, please hurry! Darkness is pouring from the keyhole! It's all we can do to hold back the darkness. I don't know how long we can manage even that. Alright, I'm on my way. We're counting on you, Keyblade Master. In the meantime, we'll do what we can too. We must close the keyhole before it's too late. Please hurry, our strength is running out. So this is Snow White, Princess Jasmine, and Alice. Of course, you've already met the other two. I can feel immense power flowing from the keyhole. Alright, I don't know what's going to happen here. It says I'm at 30 minutes. Uh, let's do it this episode. Why not? Off to adventure! No. I thought I was going to be immediately confronted by extreme danger, and there's no one here. I feel a little bit put off. Bye. The Grand Hall. Now I'll be immediately confronted by extreme danger? That is not extreme at all. That is minor inconvenient danger. By the way, have I even shown Ragnarok? Jump in the sky! Jump in the sky so I can use Ragnarok. Holy crap, Donald, did you seriously just use freaking arrow on all of us? You are a boss. Ragnarok! Oh, Arcana. Rag Ragnarok? Rag... Ragnar... Ragnarok. Arcanum. I'll use it eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be too many too much terrible opposition here. There are treasure chests, and I'm pretty sure one of them contains one of the last two puppy containers. But I really don't wanna I, I really don't wanna clean these guys up if possible. I'd rather just ignore them. Oh god, I can go inside of the door. That seems dangerous. Well, a large part of me wants to stop, but I don't think too much exciting happened this video, so I'm gonna go and take this jerk on and shadow the Colossus him. Oh, doing so much damage. Excellent. Ah, if he doesn't knock me off, it's gonna be ridiculously easy. Whoa. Uh oh. Ah, I knocked him unconscious. Beast, get over here! Dude. 
This is like the perfect opportunity to wail on him and you're... You're stuck. Beast, really? Over here. Over here, Beast. Here, boy. I'm sorry, that was disrespectful. He's really a prince, isn't it? Whatever. AI is generally not smart enough to come up here with me. As you can see by the fact that Beast couldn't even get to the front of him. Come on. Up the purple ass. You are a big purple ass. Ah, oh, God. Can I reach him? No. Could probably use Ragnarok, though, right? Why isn't it activating? It only activates against guys in the air. Maybe it's for some reason the code is reading him on the ground because his feet are on the ground. That's probably it. Weird. Oh well. What do I have as a way of magic healing? Ether? This is probably ill timed. But, no, nah, I need a bit more magic. Oh god, he's charging. Whoa, stop, jump! Ah! Come on, you can get up there. You can do it! This is gonna take forever, and I should not have. I shouldn't do it this episode. How much? Alright, he's got three life bars left? Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Do I have any other magic enhancing item? Elixirs? Do you really want to use elixirs for this battle? You don't. Oh well. I made my bed. Now I have to bash people who are naughty enough to stay in it. And I can't seem to get back on his head. That's very unfortunate. Kind of had a chance there, didn't I? But I blew it. I have a feeling summoning Mushu is not going to help too much, but I want to try it anyway. If I could just get up there. Oh, Ragnarok, I could have done it. No. Oh, well. Mushu! One of the most powerful badasses ever. An actual, factual, mighty red dragon! Mushu! Alright, so he's a he's a small red dragon, but he's still a red dragon, damn it. He also has a Gatling gun. Are those hitting? Those don't appear to be doing any damage. They are not doing any damage. You could see how this could theoretically be a useful summon though, right? <laughs> you know, on enemies that actually get hurt by it. Oh well. <laughs> it's probably a reason that I don't use it all that much. Um, eh. Oh, ah, I almost had it. Come on. Yes! No! Damn it! I thought I hit him. Whoa, Donald, dude! <laughs> what are you just standing there? You actually got up there, man. I'm impressed. Mages generally don't do all that physical stuff. Ooh, look at that. You see how slick that was? <laughs> oh, stay, stay, stay. Strike. Excellent. He's toast. Warm, buttery toast. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not while his horn is invincible, and that's his only weak point. We got this. Woo! Oh, no victory slash opportunity? All right. Oh, Mega Arts. That is an excellent accessory. And I will be using it. <laughs> now let's go and seal that big keyhole. Sora, you did it. Who said that? That was weird. That was very weird. Oh, it was you. What are you guys doing here? We came in Sid's ship. This is our childhood home. We wanted to see it again. It's in worse shape than I feared. It used to be so peaceful. Don't worry. If we defeat Ansem, it should be all restored. Including your island. Really? 
But it also means goodbye. Once the worlds are restored, they'll all be separate again. Everyone will go back to where they came from. Then I'll visit you guys with a gummy ship. It's not that simple. Before all of this, you didn't know about other worlds, right? It's because every world is isolated. Impassable walls divide them. The Heartless destroyed those walls. But if the worlds return, so will the walls. Which means the gummy ships will be useless. So you're saying we'll never... We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together again. Besides, I couldn't forget you even if I wanted to. What's that supposed to mean? Hurry! Come and close the keyhole! Sora, good luck. Thank you, Sora. I think the darkness has begun to weaken. But I can feel powerful darkness growing somewhere far away. It's the heart of the darkness. It must be where Ansem went. Then we'll take the gummy ship and we'll defeat both Ansem and the Heartless. A worthy answer, Keyblade Master. We offer this power to aid you in battle. Obtain the power of fire. Fyra has been upgraded to Fyraga. Sora, your courage can bring back our worlds. Once the darkness is gone, we should all return to its original state. Kairu will be back in the island? Most certainly. And you should be too. I can't go home till I find Riku and the king. Well, hopefully we'll find Riku and the King. But it's all gonna have to wait till next time. What? Oh yeah, Fyra. Yeah, cool. Excellent. Wonderful. Hmm, yes, smashing. Indeed. Next episode, we'll go on further. See you then.